Hello and welcome back to this video. I'm Hannah. I'm an artist and a student and um, this is a paint with me video. You will see me paint um, a picture of me. Um, it is a very important painting for me. I'll talk more about it later. Um, but right now you can just see me trying to choose a reference picture because I had loads of reference pictures and trying to crop it and figure out which one I should take. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. So, I think I found my reference picture. Um, I took a bunch of reference pictures and I cropped some of them to the size of my canvas and I've looked through them and I think this one is quite interesting, it's good from the lighting and everything, it's not too hard and I think it would be interesting to paint. Um, I've never done a full body painting of myself before, so it is kind of scary and I've never really done a full body painting before where I was really wanting to have to get all the proportions right because normally if I paint full body I'm focusing on the body, on the colors and everything and I'm not quite sure if I want it to be super precise and real um, or if I want it to be more loose um, we will see but the first step for today is to do the sketch and to just prepare the canvas and um, get all of that ready Okay, we're starting now, and I'm nervous. <laughs> Hello, voiceover me is back. I thought I would just tell you a little bit of the background to this video. So this video was filmed over a span of, I think, five days. It took me five days from starting the sketch to finishing the painting. Um, and the idea for this painting came, um, I saw this video of this girl, and she's an amazing artist. I will try and link her name up on the screen and um, she does all of these self-portraits and I've done some self-portraits before but honestly none of the self-portraits I've done really looked like me they're from somewhere it has looked like me but it hasn't it hasn't been perfect and um, so I really wanted to do one where I really focused on the proportions and everything I didn't just want to do my face I wanted to be an entire body and um, I sort of took the concept of steal like an artist um, the girl that I was referring to, she does all these portraits of herself um, where she explores meanings of identity and heritage and culture and all of that. And I didn't really want to do that. The only inspiration I sort of took from that video was I wanted to paint myself. And I think it is a cool way of trying to sort of work out any insecurities you might have or just, you know, you have to, you have to look at your body and you have to look at yourself and look at the colors and, um, paint yourself and um, I think that is a very interesting way of um, maybe I'm not I'm not what I, I don't know the word right now but just trying to change your relationship with yourself maybe and I think for me at least when I paint myself um, I don't really think of it as myself and it is a really cool way because I can just see myself as if I were to paint anyone else and I I'm there's no judgment there's no um, nothing like that and I can just I can just sort of disassociate I don't know if that's the word but I can just distance myself from it and um, look at the colors and the shapes and everything and it's a really beautiful way of just looking at your body from a different perspective so I can just recommend um, but yeah so that was the background and um, I just started by doing the sketch and I the sketch took me a day and a half to do to make I was quite nervous um, about the face but I ended up being quite happy with it and then um, I showed you some colors that I had um, that I put out before so I tried to limit myself to a palette of only using browns so I have two different shades of browns I have black blue red and white and that's all and that is I've been doing that for a few months now and it has really helped me it has been super nice to just limit myself and I really have to pre-mix my colors and that's what I did and you can see it in the arm I only really I only changed the shape the shades um, really slightly and did some things a bit lighter but I really was careful of placing color because I didn't want it to have 20 layers of colors I wanted it to have 
I wanted to be able to blend the colors and really think of which colors I wanted to use and um, if this if the shade were, would be a slightly different, slightly a little bit more red or a little bit more brown, a bit lighter or darker, I would try and pre-mix that and I haven't really done that previously and I think this is the first painting kind of where I've really mixed my colors and blended the colors because normally I'm more like a, I put colors on top of each other, so I put colors next to each other and then they sort of mix and blend but not the way that I did it here and just looking at the arms I'm really happy with them and I'm happy with the skin color that I sort of created um so yeah so I'm kind of scared but I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the face um I feel like the arms worked out really well um I'll have to go back and see if they're proportionally I think they should be right but right now they look really big but I know that if everything else comes together and I draw the clothing and stuff it will look better um, but I'm thinking that I might do the face now because I'm so like now that I've done the arms I know the skin colors and I know which colors to use and I'm also in a really very like really good with blending my colors today which I usually don't do so I'm happy about that um but it's a little scary because so much can go wrong with the face and um it's kind of hard to rework faces I mean you can always paint on top of it everything but what I want to do right now is I don't want to I don't want to have that many layers, so I'm trying to really blend in everything to be conscious of which colors I'm using to pre-mix my colors and to only stick with, with a few colors and um, I don't want it to be like 10 layers of paint, um, so I hope it's gonna go right. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also excited. So I started working on the face the same day, so the second day, um, when I was working on the arms and normally I try to really just take it slow in painting and I try to be really conscious of how much time, I've, how much, like how long I've painted already and try to step away because previous paintings, especially portraits where you sort of, you paint on a very small scale and um, you just look at a, at a really small area for a few hours, uh, things just tend to go wrong. So I started painting um, the face, but I only painted to this part. Right now what you're seeing is the next day. Um, it was a really, really rainy day and I ended up going over the face um, and going in with some different shades, but I also started painting different areas. And I think that is what was different, why I could paint the arms and then move on to the face because I had painted different areas and I felt like I knew the flesh tones and everything after painting the arms. Um, but still, I stepped away, I took the night off um, because I just know by now that I can't really... It, things go wrong if you if you paint for too, too long. But yeah, now here I was just using a smaller brush. I was really thinking of the colors. Again, I was pre-mixing the colors that I would put on the lips and I wasn't... I wanted it to really look like me and to really sort of have the lips and everything just be the, the colors to, for them to be right and I had to paint over them a little bit but um, I didn't really I was just really conscious of the colors and I think that's what one thing that I can really take away from this painting to just pre mix my colors and really um, look at the picture and the face and if you if there's shots of me where you can see my body and my face um, and me painting you will see that every like three seconds I will look at my phone and I'll look at the picture and just try and check what if what I'm doing is right and um, I just try to be really conscious of that of that painting
so this is the next day. Um, I it's the third day of painting this painting. I really enjoyed painting the jeans or the pants and the shirts. Um, I find it really fun to just you know paint paint shapes and to not have to worry as much as when I paint the arms or the face and I could just take a break from the face and focus on something else and I still I took my time I think I painted the pants for probably two hours or something probably well maybe an hour probably not two hours um but I had pre-mixed my colors before and I was really the I was really conscious of um where I would put the color and um in a way it it feels like I'm stepping away because normally if I were to paint a portrait and I'm just focusing on such a small space, I would have to step away and take breaks. But since I am just focusing on sort of not mindless, but more mindless um, painting things than painting a portrait um, when painting the pans, it was sort of like distancing myself from the painting. And I had loads of fun just filling in the shades and everything. And um, yeah, I really hope you're enjoying the video so far. I know I've been talking for a big portion of it so I will shut up now um, but I just wanted to tell you the background of the painting and how I went about it and what it means to me, to me. Um, but yeah let me know what you think of the painting so far and let me know what you think of the video and the concept of it and everything um, and if you have any tips or any feedback um, please let me know I'm always trying to improve my videos and um, yeah thanks for watching Alright, voice of me is back, but only to tell you, I was really struggling with the hair. I really liked the hair before, when I didn't really have that much of it painted, and I had only added like a few colors of it, and I was just, I was debating leaving it like that, and then I went over and I, want, I wanted to do the hair to, just to have the entire hair painted, and I really didn't like it, so I went back to paint different areas, and then I went back to paint the hair again, and I think I just wanted to put that little message in for you as encouragement. Sometimes you just have to push through and I try to do my best. I try to look at the colors. I went over some of the areas and I was like, I don't like it at all, but I can always come back. And then I went on to paint the details on um, the legs and on the pants. And um, afterwards I was like, oh no, the hair is actually fine. And I ended up not changing anything. So sometimes you just need to do the best you can and then step away. And maybe the next day or even a few hours later, and when you get, come back and look at it, you will, you will find that it's actually not as bad. But here you can just me, see me touching up all of the details. I went over the shirt because it was a little bit too dark, and the paint had dried a little bit more. And um, yeah.
So at this point, I thought that the painting was finished and um, I was just going back and forth. I was refining the edges, I was fixing things that I then later realized that were just a little bit um, wrong. And then I ended up just sitting down and going back and forth and stepping back. And then I would always just see some new things that I needed to change and just I didn't work on the face at all, but I just had some, there were so many small things that I needed to change, but in the end, I am so happy with the way it turned out. Um, I think this is a breakthrough painting for me. I definitely want to do more paintings like it, and um, I'm really happy with it. So let me know what you think, and let me know, yeah, just if you like it, what you would have done differently, and um, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. If you've watched it till now, consider leaving a like and a, like and a subscribe. And um, yeah, have a, have a really good day.